my dear students while preparing for exams don't do these mistakes which i am saying one thing the very biggest uh, mistake is we waste the time though exams are nearing uh, we, we won't allocate appropriate time this is the first mistake we should not do that and second thing reading in odd times reading in odd times i am saying there will be sometimes where we don't want to uh, give time for study and all at the time possible even if we are sitting and preparing it won't do anything and third important thing don't miss the time in the morning early morning i am saying my dear students if you start preparing from 5 o'clock in the early morning even one hour if you prepare that's very much interesting and the fourth point do analyze in which subjects you are weak and which subjects you are good so give time to those subjects where you feel you are a little bit weak and uh, the next mistake what we do is we get confused whether to follow the material given by uh, the lecturer concerned lecturer and uh, the material which is bought from outside whatever it may be my students what i want to see is both uh, preparation of uh, both it will be very good actually you will get the idea a and at last my dear students what i want to say is you just understand the theme of the unit every unit will be having some kind of theme my dear students whenever i make videos i will show the very first paper there in the first paper what you are going to study in this subject i am going to say always my dear students means have a look on that particular paper where you will get complete information about all the five units or four units whatever it may be my dear students my dear students including languages every subject is very much important my dear students so even if you are from uh, intermediate or you are, you are from uh, bbr bca or whatever bsc or bcom ba whatever it may be no student wants any backlog my dear students it is a fact it is a fact so there are some students my dear students they are saying they are working somewhere and unable to give time in such a case my dear students when you are unable to give time to read just listen this kind of videos and all my dear students we the people are making very much useful videos at least you should have an idea on what are the subjects which you have my dear students what is the mode of the subject you should have you, you, you will get some kind of uh, data into your mind my dear students see my dear students in case of bcom there is a uh, semester 5 is going on at present and semester 3 is going on and some one is going on my dear students so 1 3 5 these sums now means you need to have a look on this and you may ask me sir why you are saying this i have backlog of uh, previous uh, semester since such a case also my dear students let the date of the backlog exams may come at the time you may give more attention on that my dear students don't throw away any notes which your concerned faculty has given give equal importance to those notes and uh, in the subjects like mathematics and all more and more practice is required my dear students not only mathematics and all in all the subjects more and more practice is required and my dear students one thing i want to say you use the appropriate time of reading my dear students wake up in the morning at early 4 o'clock and read till 6 o'clock that's enough for the entire day entire day i'm saying my dear students either it is a stats or advanced accounts or whatever it may be my dear students it's a golden time your mind will be free my dear students see throughout the day we will be busy with our activities and all in the early morning the time is not like that my dear students my dear students i am wishing you all the best and we the people are here to help you by making so many videos and all thank you god bless you all my dear students stay tuned to my channel venkat venkat presents dana whether you are from uh, bbe or bca bcom bsc intermediate and all you have everything in my channel my dear students me as a senior faculty have 27 years of experience in teaching just want uh, my contribution in the success of the student why because my motto is the success of the student is uh, the happiest thing for a teacher all the best my dear students do god bless you all thank you